You know, in the Bible, specifically in the book of Genesis, we're presented with some amazing characters that have really shaped and formed much of how we relate to God. Their stories relate to us in so many ways. And Abraham is a character within the Old Testament, specifically the book of Genesis, who is known as the father of faith. God gave this tremendous promise to Abraham to leave the land that he was in, to follow him, and to recognize that God would provide for him descendants that would one day far outnumber the stars in the sky. Well, Abraham, as the father of faith, truly is a man of faith, but he's also a man. Sometimes he, maybe like you and me, would make mistakes and assume upon what God wanted to do and even take matters into his own hands. And such is the case in Genesis 16. Let, let me read this passage to you in Genesis 16, starting in verse one. Now Sarai, Abraham's wife, had not been able to bear children for him, but she had an Egyptian servant named Hagar. So Sarai said to Abram, the Lord has prevented me from having children. Go and sleep with my servant. Perhaps I can have children through her. And Abram agreed with Sarah's proposal. So Sarai, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, the Egyptian servant, and gave her to Abram as a wife. This happened 10 years after Abram had settled in the land of Canaan. See, God had given a promise to Abraham that he would, through his wife Sarah, have many, many descendants. But often with the promises of God, there is this time, there is this space where God is allowing to work out his plan in his time. And Sarah says, listen, it doesn't seem like God's coming through. Let's make this thing happen. And out of that dynamic, Ishmael is born. And as you study the Old Testament, you'll see that in Israel's history, the people of Abraham, throughout all of their history in the Old Testament, there's constant challenge, sorrow, and pain between the people of Ishmael and the people of Israel. And see, here's the lesson for today. God is faithful to his promises. So let's not assume the position of God. Let's trust him to work out his will in his way and his time. You see, Abraham is truly the father of faith. But in this situation, we see that as this great man of faith, he's also a man who makes mistakes. And the mistake that was made here was to try and make happen in his own strength what God wanted to do in his. So today in your life, let God be God. Let him lead you, guide you in his time and in his way. You'll never regret being patient and waiting for God to move in his way and in his time.